I'm the f***ing universe! Dark in the Alone, released in 2008, is a reboot of Amnesia. This is another one of those games I was actually looking forward to playing because I had played the original driving section. And I played that when I was like... 21? But I never really forgot about how much of an impact it had on the gamer game or on the driving section industry as a whole. You're seeing this right. Alone in the Dark did the whole survival horror thing 21? years before driving section. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because I want you to understand the kind of legacy that this game has and how Crack to shatter that in one fell swoop. The game takes place in the game he overhears the same bad guys saying that they need the old man and the stone together to become the light bringer. The light bringer. Don't do crack or you'll break yourself into oblivion. Something like that. Alone in the Dark made survival horror, then Resident Evil copied it, and now Resident Evil is copying Alone in the Dark. I'll tell you what though, the first person view works really well for extreme driving section. Action! Yeah! Suck on that! Driving. You, my most perfect puppet. And then credits? Now give me my stone! I don't have your stone, and f you anyway! And then they f The three get into a car to escape, but all of the fishers, literally fisher- This is another decent mechanic of Alone in the Dark. Edward's inventory is entirely in his jacket, and you look down and look at your bullets. You can combine a bunch of items for new bullets, like putting flammable liquid on your bullets for fire bullets, or putting a cloth in a bottle to make Molotov bullets. Inside room 943 is Paddington's secret workshop, and there's actually a pretty cool puzzle here. You need to close your eyes and Sarah beat so Edward over the head so that Sarah could kill everyone. This is Patty. It serves no purpose. And down, deep inside the castle, Edward finds the secret to ending the whole catastrophe. This guy. His name is Sarah Patty. Crack. F***ing universe! Gamer game to Hermes, and Sarah calls Edward to let him know that he's game. Back at the museum, there is one last boss fight, and it's against Crowley, the jerk that's been the cause of all of this. He has taken Sarah hostage, and threatens to kill her unless Edward hands over the stone. Edward is put into a tight situation, and unless he- You're not a man anymore. I'm the light bringer. I'm the playing alone in the dark. That's the good ending. That's why my final rating for this game is 21 out of 10.